If we go to record in the top window and click on metronome settings, then this will give us more settings to work with. If we look here, it has the click while recording box checked and also click while playing. Sometimes you might not want the click while playing box checked as the click can get in the way of the mix. But for now, let's leave the click while playing on. Sometimes, however, you might want the click while playing box checked just so you can check rhythmical instruments along with a click. It also has polyphonic clicks. This means the one of the beat will have a different tone. This is so you can recognize where you are in the beat. So let's leave this on too. On the source below, it has audio click checked for Klopfgeist. Let's leave this check too. Klopfgeist is German for rapping spirit or knocking ghost, if you're wondering what that unusual word actually means. Below this, it has bar and beat checked. Here you will notice that the bar has a higher note and velocity. This is so you can hear the turnaround and the one of the bar. So let's leave this like this too. If we go back to recording on the top window, there's also counting. This is how long we want the counting to be before the track actually comes in. You might want to start one bar in or wait a few bars until you record. If you're performing and recording all yourself, you might want a few bars so you have a bit of time to actually go to the other part of the room, for example, to record your instrument. Having a counting is really important. If you don't have a counting, you might rush your recording, you might not know the exact beats per minute of your track.